Hello, everybody, and welcome to Poland Daily Travel. That's right, your favorite travel show about Poland and Central Europe. And not only that, just things that are interesting about travel, because sometimes we'll give you tips that may help you in your adventures uh, going from one place, going from home to other places, uh, whether for work or for pleasure. Both, of course, are essential, but both have been curtailed a lot. Nicholas Richardson with me in the studio, Harold von Kursk uh, via Skype. There uh, it is. In beautiful Tallinn, which we can't come to because of the lockdown, but I hope we'll get there soon. We keep talking about coming, staying in the beautiful, what is it, the Hilton Hotel there near you? Yes, sir. Yeah, Park right, Hilton. Right downtown, yeah. A few blocks away and a very nice area. Gosh, it sounds inviting. We've got it to does. come and see you. You up for that, Nicholas? Of course. We're still talking about it. We are. People just think it's a running joke. But no, we could do it. Oh, yeah, we could. If we it could, could actually happen. Yes, exactly. But at any rate, um, a, a subject, we talked about vaccines and, and how we're getting them and, and uh, those sort of things in the, in the previous couple of programs. I think it's worth talking about the lockdown and the differences from the states, although I did speak about that on Skype and our different, and our other colleagues who joined us spoke about that. Um, from the United States and other places. But uh, I, I, I think there's perhaps a, uh, a marked difference uh, between what's going on in Poland and Central Europe and other parts of Europe, but we'll talk about Poland specifically, and Estonia, which is a good recommendation, being a smaller you know, country, that, but uh, 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 a country uh, which has a very high profile in terms of uh, technology and medicine and all those things. And, uh, and then talk about the United States. Yeah? Yes. Does that make sense? You're the boss. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I love to hear that. Now, that is really Ed McMahon. Thank you. That was very good. Uh, I, am, I am the boss. That's true. I am? No, I'm not. By, by the way, Will. Who's the I boss should, here? By the way, Will, I should Harold's mention that uh, oh. your cousin Nicholas looks a bit subdued this week. Nicholas, are you subdued? No more than usual, I don't think. He's thinking about his vaccine, I think. Yeah, yeah. he's not. He's. I think he's a little. He's a little miffed that I'm back in the driver's seat. He was getting used to, you know, running this Ferrari down the road, and I don't know, things are a little different now. He's in the passenger seat, you know. See the goggles. <laughs> yeah, and Will, you know, you're looking a bit scruffy. I mean, if you grow your hair any longer, you'll soon start to resemble Steve Bannon. Ooh. I'm not sure about that. I think uh, I think you could come up with a better better person than Steve Bannon. But you are obsessed with politics, so I expect that from you. You could have I'm thought just, of any number of rock and I'm roll just, stars. Uh, any number. Playing with you there. Yeah, yeah. I I I'm not the drinker that, that Mr. Bannon is by by reputation. I can assure you. Um, I, me and alcohol do not get along. But uh, at any rate, I won't take that as a compliment because I don't think it was. But uh, I would like to go on and discuss this lockdown stuff, because in the United States, um, things, the restaurants are open, the hotels are open. Otherwise, it would have been very difficult for me, uh, for me to travel. Uh, the restaurants, hotels are open. Um, bars are open. Discos and, and, and bigger events, you know, clubs where you dance, those things are not open. But you can have a semblance, very much a semblance of normal life, going out, going out with your friends. You just have to wear a mask. It's crazy because you wear a mask outside, going to your table, and then you take it off. It makes no sense. No. There's been a lot of inconsistency throughout. And I think part of the, the biggest problem with this is the inconsistency from starting with Fauci saying, don't wear a mask. We don't want you wearing masks. Well, the World it doesn't Health Organization help. started by saying don't wear a mask yeah, as well. And, then every, and now it's triple mask even after vaccination. Well, I triple mean, it does, mask makes no sense no, at It all. makes you want to throw up. Every time I see this Fauci character, I just want to puke. I mean, he's the biggest, you know, he's a nerd. And uh, you, you don't want nerds in charge of your... I mean, the guy couldn't probably get a date in, in school or college. And here he is telling us... Uh, how to live our lives, you know. Well, I think that's... Uh, we I need think, to be a little more I think people button. are increasingly yeah. sceptical because they see the inconsistency. And if you were right yesterday, then you're not right today. And if you were... Or vice versa, and this is a problem. Governments well, can't yeah. make their mind up. I mean, some of, one of the stupid things are, for example, closing sports grounds or golf clubs where you're out in the fresh air. 
Or beaches. Or beaches. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I'll give you an example. Georgia and Florida and Texas said no more masks. We don't care. We're opening things up. Let's get the economy going. Guess what? Cases down. Well, All three I was places. reading. I was reading. All three places. I was reading a, a thing in a magazine, uh, the, uh, which by a professor from the University of Edinburgh, who taken Neil Ferguson's model, which of course he's been advising the government. If you look at Neil Ferguson's record, it's completely the wrong. Neil Ferguson, not the great uh, author. The no, other no, one. the the, yeah. the professor. Yeah. Um, from and, London, but he, University he of put London. It, he yeah. put into it not the data which Ferguson modeled, but actually real life data. Um, and he found that before each of the three UK lockdowns the actual rate of cases and the rate of death was already falling. So he questions whether the lockdowns have achieved anything at all apart from mass upset, economic destruction and physical and mental harm. I mean, doctors in the UK are increasingly saying, where have all our cancer patients gone? Because they're going to be turning up next year in the hospital in coffins because they haven't yeah. had the diagnosis, they haven't had the treatment. Well, because they're going to turn up in the hospital and then go to coffins. Every, because everybody, yeah. all the hospitals are sort of being treated as sort of COVID stations and everybody else yeah. was just told to sort of go away. Yeah, well, I mean, I know people have been dying of COVID and other things, but or things that are called COVID and are not necessarily. Amazingly, this year, nobody has died of flu, have you noticed? Yeah. Um, the 10 or 20,000 yeah. people every year who normally die of flu have not died of flu. Yeah, the other thing is I'm most worried about is two, one of my friends died with cancer in the last year and one of them has it. It's come back again and now it's in his brain and I'm incredibly no, worried about him. He's tough. a very, another, extremely close friend. And where, where is the cure for cancer? But we've got to go. Harold, I'm sorry we didn't get to you. We'll get to you in the next, in the next one. Uh, because we need... come to the defense of Dr. Fauci in the next episode. Oh, please come to the defense of Dr. Fauci. I would love to shoot arrows at your arguments. Uh, we'll be back. Poland Daily Travel. Like us on YouTube. Ring the bell. Lots of episodes. And we promise to do our best to bring you interesting conversation about travel and all things related to travel, not just in Poland and Central Europe, where we have our, our location in beautiful downtown Warsaw, but other places as well around the world where we travel. And always, almost always, from Estonia, uh, a land that really does exist, we have Harold von Kursk. Thank you to Nicholas Richardson, and see you next time.